Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to see if we'd remember the rules or understand the rules of how to find the determinant of a matrix by reducing a matrix to the echelon form. And now remembering the process we took to get there to make sure we adjust the answer appropriately. All they're giving us here is that there's some matrix A for which we need to find the determinant. But when that matrix was reduced to echelon form, it looked like this. And along the way, we did one row exchange and one addition of rows, which means that the answer, the determinant of A, is therefore equal to the product of the diagonals here in the echelon form, which is 1 times negative 2, multiplied times a negative 1 because of this process right here. So here we're going to have a multiplication of a negative 1, which goes over here, and nothing else, and therefore the determinant in this case is equal to 2. So there again, all you need to know is the form, the echelon form of the matrix and the process you took to get there and what adjustments you need to make. Only one adjustment for a single row exchange, meaning you have to multiply the product of the diagonals times that negative one to get the proper answer, the correct answer for the determinant. And that's how it's done.